Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and I am here with my daughter Luella and she wanted to do my intro with me. What did you want to say? Um, hi guys, welcome back to channel. Before we get started, click that side button. Two locations. Give me a huge thumbs up. Yay! Yay! Good job! Okay, thank you. Okay, then that's the last time we're doing it. That's the last time we're doing it, I promise. <laughs> okay. Alright, bye. I'll be back in a bit. She, okay, you're going to be back in a bit. She never watches YouTube, ever. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for tuning in. I know it has been a very long time. It has been a crazy summer, that is for sure. But I wanted to do a haul today. Right, so you might be wondering, why is my hair wet? Well, I've been trying this new thing out where I'm trying to keep some texture. Like, I have really crimpy hair in the back. And I bought some things from Sephora from the VIB sale and just recently and I just wanted to do a haul but I also wanted to try on a few things so let's get started um, I have quite a few things to go through so let's just get right into it so I first want to do the hair products because my hair is gonna start drying I did um, put this is like a little turban that I got from who did I get this from Norwex so this is like a little turban and I put this on my hair and it's really, um, how do you describe it? It's like those vi um, Enviro cloths and they really suck up moisture. So it's really nice and it's, it's barely even damp and my hair is very thick. And so I wanted to get all of the moisture out of it before I put these products in. The first product that I have here is the Sea Spray from Verb. Now, I have never heard of this before, but Jaclyn Hill talked about this. And it wasn't too expensive, so I really wanted to check it out. Um, I've been trying to just use like natural hair products, but then also letting my hair air dry is just the easiest thing in the summer. I've been swimming a lot, so I just haven't been blow drying my hair and straightening it that often. Um, just because I just don't have time and it doesn't really matter because most of the time I'm with my daughter um, because of COVID and so we go swimming and I just never know when I'm gonna get my hair wet so what is the point of blow drying my hair and straightening it out and giving myself like a nice blowout when I'm just gonna get wet so I am gonna try this out quick I have used this once before it definitely um, gives a crunchier feel than what I'm used to, but not too crunchy. And let's see if it has any directions on it. Beach Loose Effortless Curls formulated with natural sea salt and smoothing moisturizers. This light mist infuses all hair types with oceanic waves for a breezy texture boost. Yes, love it. Application spray on dry or damp hair in sections using fingertips to twist and define curls, dry naturally for texture and volume, or diffuse for amplified ways. So I have been using my diffuser too, which I really like. The problem that I have is always the front because I pull it a lot, I've been told, and I put it behind my, my ears a lot. So then these pieces always get like stick straight and then the back is really wavy. So, and sometimes I will braid it. Now it just kind of looks messy but all right we'll see what happens with that all right next product this is the C texture spray light hold and dry volume it gives grip so this is also verb and this is an aerosol can and you want to use this I believe when your hair is dry next product that I wanted to use actually is the super goop glow screen with SPF 40. Ooh, it's so bright. All right, so that's what the packaging looks like. And this was just advertised to me a ton on Instagram and I was like, fine, I will buy you. Just leave me alone. <laughs> um, so they won, no. And actually I have also used this once and I do like it. I didn't find that it was, um, waterproof even though some people have said that it's waterproof you definitely have to reapply sunscreen um i don't know that's just my thoughts so well, let's see how this looks 
on camera, it actually gives you a really nice, pretty glow. Yeah, I like this a lot. And I do have moisturizer on already. Where am I looking? Here's my mirror. If you have very oily skin, you're not gonna like this because it just makes you glow a lot. Maybe you would like it underneath of your foundation, but I feel like there's other FBF, SBFs that have a more matte finish, but I definitely love the Dew. That is very pretty. Reminds me a little bit of the Dew Skin, but it's like a little bit more glowy, and the Dew Skin is like more of a moisturizer. I wouldn't say that this is a moisturizer. And this is SPF 40. No synthetic fragrance, vegan, clean chemical sunscreen actives, reef safe, non-irritating. Right, so that's my sec third product there. All right, next we have Kosas Sport. So I am always on the hunt for different deodorants and I've been using Lumi a lot lately and I like it, but it's more of a paste formula and I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite formula. When I first put it on, it does absorb. Does it work? Yes. I don't know. I'm just very particular with probably been on this natural journey for probably about a year and it's, I'm just, con maybe even more than that. And I'm just constantly looking for something better. And, and I was reading about this. It did take them quite a while to formulate this. And it is a clear, um, clear deodorant. And it does just have, I don't even know if, okay, I'm going to put this on. <laughs> I didn't put deodorant on yet. So it does just go on totally clear. And that's why I really wanted to get it because I just hate having residue. So this does have lactic acid in it. It has mandelic acid in it. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that other one. Shiki Mick. I don't know. It's free of aluminum, baking soda, parabens, synthetic fragrance, and sulfates. So very curious how this works. Maybe I'll check back with you and see how I'm smelling later. Um, I do think we're gonna be going for a bike ride later, so I will keep you updated. So these are just nice products that you just need like every day I feel like in the summer or just every day in general. I feel like most people put SPF on all the time. So I feel like everyone has raved about Olaplex for a long time and I finally just got suckered into it during the VIB sale. I still haven't even used it yet though so it's been sitting in this box because I'm using up all of my other shampoos. I just refuse to like jump from shampoo to shampoo when I have like two shampoos in my um, in my bathroom right now. I have Aveda and then I have, what's that other one with an R? It literally smells like a smoothie. It smells so good. So anyways, but I wanted to try these out. So these are supposed to repair, strengthen, and hydrate all hair types. So this is the number four shampoo. And then this is the hair perfecter. So it re repairs and strengthens all hair type. And then this is the conditioner. And I bought the smaller conditioner because I just feel like conditioners always last longer than shampoos. So I will have to update you on if I can see a difference or not. So I have two more products, but I want to apply them. So I am going to put on my base and I will be right back. I'm gonna use the beauty counter in 340 today, I believe. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. What's up, girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Looks beautiful out, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna go for a bike ride later? Yeah, so we can. So I'll get to eat. Oh yes, tell them about how why you're selling Gatorade. Because I want to give money to the homeless people. So we're selling Gatorade. How much money did we make last night? Um, do you remember? Did we make $52. 52 dollars. And like a half an hour. Mm -hmm. It was so sweet. And we're gonna donate it to this shelter, aren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
she came up with this all on her own. She saw people on the side of the road and she always wants to get the money. And I said, what happens when all your money runs out? Because she'll bring her purse with. Like, how are you going to keep getting more money? She goes, well, I'm going to sell something then. I'm like, okay, what do you want to sell? Drinks. I want to sell drinks. So we went down to the bike path area by our house. And we've been selling Gatorade. Last night was our first night selling Gatorade and I had no idea how it was going to go or be received but actually there were some people that gave us donations and we didn't have very good change <laughs> so the guy was just like oh it's fine she's too cute and then when we when we told them what it was for then they were like yes absolutely keep the change so and one guy was like all right I'm gonna see you on Forbes in 20 years <laughs> All right, next I'm using my Ilia concealer. I feel like I might need a darker shade right now, but we'll just make it work. My eyes will just be super bright. I am just going to dust on some powder real quick. I'm going to use my Hourglass Translucent Powder. And you don't have to set this if you don't want to. I just want to because I feel like I'm very shiny in the monitor. Next, I want to take my RMS bronzer. I'll link it down below. There. That's what it looks like. It's just a little pot, but there's actually quite a bit in here. I need a brush. I think this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. These are brush, these brushes, the Sonia Kashuk ones, I really actually enjoy these a lot. And you can just pick these up at Target, which is nice. I love getting the forehead because that's just where the sun hits you naturally and I think it just looks so pretty. I'm gonna use this brush from Zoeva. It is technically, oh sorry, it's not from Zoeva. I have another one from Zoeva. This one's Morphe, it's R32. It's very similar to my Zoeva one too. They're all the same, I feel like the brushes are. The next product that I have here that I'm most excited for is the Patrick Ta blush. And this one is, do we know her? Do we know her? Sounds like Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't even know her. Or what did she say about J-Lo? Like, who doesn't know who J-Lo is? Come on. Come on, Mariah Carey. The top. Oops, let's get a good shot of that. Is there a film over top of that? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it has this little thing that, like, protector to keep. Okay, let's see if that focuses. So this is a little protector. So I thought it was the plastic thing normally that comes, but this is actually like a little protector. So that's great. So you got a great mirror. Holy cow, that's a really nice mirror. Oh, it's in Do We Know Her? And then this bottom part is powder. So, oh, I don't even want to swatch it. It's just so pretty. So beautiful. Did I get a good shot there? Very nice. This is very luxurious. If you don't know who Patrick Ta is, he is a celebrity makeup artist. I just love his looks because he does a very you but glamorous look. First, let's swatch this. Ooh, these feel really creamy. Oh my gosh, it almost feels like lip gloss. That's crazy. Holy cow, this is just so creamy. Do you see how I kind of mean that it feels like lip gloss. It almost feels like a lip balm. Wow, that's very light. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just I'm just surprised at how like emollient it feels. Cause normally, like I love my um, beauty counter cream blushes, and then I also have a Juice Beauty. How the heck did I get something like flint in this already? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. All right, let me see if I can do a better swatch. Interesting, okay, all right. But let's put this on the face first. I don't even know if he says to use this with a brush or with your fingers, because typically I just use the fingers. Oh yeah, that's very subtle. I wonder if this is gonna pick up on camera. My lights are too bright. This light is just so bright. I need to get a new light. Here, let me see if I turn this off, if you can see better. It's really pretty in person though. 
I just want you to be able to see on camera how pretty this is. Cool, love that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other cheek here. Let's see if you can see this one. And I believe I saw a video somewhere where he said he puts the cream over top of the um, powder to kind of like, you know, emulsify it. I am gonna go in with my Luxie, what is this, 181 I think it is. I love with the powder over top actually. It just gives it a nice finish. Ooh, love that. Okay, I am gonna also take this on a fluffy brush, an eyeshadow brush. This one is JH32. This is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. I always forget to talk about brushes. So the last product that is in this box is the She's Humble Lip Liner from Patrick Ta. Pretty. Just love the rose gold. Yes, this is also very pretty and rose gold. I know this applicator is a little bit different. It's like a pump. So you just pump it up like one of these little pump things. So this is a square shape. I'm not sure why he chose to do the square shape, but let's see how it works. I think this is easier than the brown ones. I love it when makeup artists make products because there's a reason <laughs> why they make it the way they do. What do you think? Love this. Very pretty. Oh, I'm very happy with these products. I just need a little bit of highlight and a little bit of mascara just to finish this video. I'm going to use my RMS. What is this? Illuminizing powder and grand dam. I'm gonna be so glowy for selling Gatorade. <laughs> this actually is really pretty without lip gloss, but I am just gonna put a little bit of praline from Beauty Counter in the center. It's just a really nice neutral. Okay, I found my mascara. I love the Honest Beauty mascara. I love that it has this primer on the one side and then it has the mascara on the other. I feel like that just completes the look. And then the last thing that I got is the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. Like when I was doing VIB, I got this. And it's just something that I've wanted to purchase for a really long time, but it always, it's just so expensive that I was like, no, no, I don't need it. And then finally, when I got the 20% off, I was like, okay, I'm doing it. So I feel like I'm so dewy right now anyways, but I'm just going to put it on anyways, because I want to see what it looks like. Oh, okay. It's always that scary moment. Or you're like, ugh, I don't want to ruin my makeup. Ooh, I look so glowy. I think, I hope it looks good on camera. <laughs> but yeah, I love just a glowy, fun look. Just really simple. I love cream products in the summer. I just think they look so nice. I don't mess around with a ton of eyeshadow. Half of the time we have our masks on. So it's just like only a few people are really getting to see the whole, the whole look. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of what I've been doing a lot lately. Um, obviously not with these products, with my other cream products, but I love this and this. I'm very excited to add these to my collection. Last but not least, I do have a couple more minutes here before my camera dies. I just want to mention how much I love my gel nails. I did these by myself. Okay, don't look too close. 
Like they look pretty good for the first time I've ever done gel on myself. Like the bottoms I just need to like clean up a little bit better at, before I dry. But I purchased this little lamp, this UV light, and it comes with this whole set. And I'll link it down below. It did take forever to come, I think because of COVID and especially I ordered it during the um, stay at home orders. And just like in the spring when everyone was at home, just like so bored, I was like, oh, it would be fun to do my nails um, with my daughter. And so this is the brand, it's called Rosalind. And I just have been loving it. I got these six little gel polish and they just have like a ton of colors. And the pink of course is my favorite. So I'm probably gonna purchase another one of these, 41. Um, it's definitely my favorite color, but they have other ones like grays, navy blues. They have like a really pretty glittery one, a pink glittery one, a silver glittery one. So yeah, that's kind of my new thing. And it comes with like all the things that you need. This little gadget works really well to get off, um, your gel polish. Cause I had, um, gel on my toes and it's just really nice to get off and it comes with a nice little brush oh my gosh there's a hair sorry comes with a nice little brush to clean and the cuticle oil and all the buffers and just the stuff is probably not that interesting but I'm just super excited because it's literally worth the money the first time that you do it all right, so that is it for this haul slash try on. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of different than what I'm used to doing. Please like, subscribe, and I will try, I will try, I will try to be better at getting videos up. It's just been very hard because I have all the neighbor kids over here and we've just been playing and enjoying the summer and just trying to enjoy the time that I have with my daughter. Um, you know, she's so young and this COVID, quarantine, crazy world, all we have to wear a mask, whatever it is that we're really in right now. We're like in between, I don't know, what is that Stranger Stranger Things show? We're in like the upside down world right now a bit and I'm just trying to enjoy just like biking and doing summer things with my daughter. So I hope you guys are enjoying your summer too and let me know if you check out any of these products or which ones you are interested in trying and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.